when I see you on that stage, I still see the six-year-old girl singing in our backyard. Selena obviously bridged the gap between mainstream music and Latin music, as well as just culture in general, and just such a revolutionary way. Um, the show we get to, you know, we get to see the newer generation is going to see something that they haven't seen before. You know, like Gen Z, they didn't have the movie or whatever. How do you hope the series bridges that gap between the two worlds and shows Latinx representation today? I think what's great about our show is that it's a show, so it's much longer, and we're going to have all this time with. Selena, you know, we're going to see her in her formative years. We're going to see her become the icon that we know today. And I think that's important. Selena was often told where she needed to fit into and she wanted to do everything. She wanted to sing in Spanish and English. She wanted to sing Tejano. She wanted, and she had such, she had influences from all over the world, even in those two, um, worlds and genres and you know she had her foot in fashion and beauty and was writing her music too and and she was she had no choreographer no creative direction she was doing everything and I think that's so powerful and I think you know it's incredibly relatable to work hard and find places for yourself where often you know people of color aren't given some spaces <laughs> The family was very much involved, you know, Suzette was an executive producer of the series. So while working with the family, was there anything that was just surprising to learn about Selena or the family while you guys were working on the project? A.B. was a musical genius, you know, he, he, he you know, he was the bass player. Uh, I never played bass before, so learning to play the bass was fun. You know, and he would also be dancing on stage with Selena sometimes on some of the performances and so that was fun also, you know, and it's not easy to play and, and dance at the same time. So, and then on top of that, you know, he's he's writing these freaking hit songs, you know, one after another. Um, so, you know, it's just really cool to, to, to understand and learn all these things about AB. I think for me, what, what was great to experience and to see is just more of the childhood story. And just to see how, you know, a lot of people, when they think of Selena, they think, oh, this big star. Um, with this great music and these big concerts and everything. And they don't realize that they, these kids started working on this since they were little, since they were very young. And it wasn't just big, huge stages. You know, they, they, had, to, they had to kind of go through things and, and experience things before they got to where they were. And don't think I don't rem remember you, Sadie. We know you were all in the original feature, 1997 Selena film with J-Lo. You know, the iconic Grammys dress, you guys were just searching. <laughs> what is it like to be involved from that, you know, that past project and now and just been a span of just so many years? Yeah, it, it's surreal. It, it's like a full circle. You know, I, I was much younger then. So the experience was coming from like a young 20 year old who was excited to explore this and, and you know, and, and know about the story for the first time. And now I'm coming in, you know, it's a complete different character. And I'm a mom now. I know. <laughs> so I can relate, you know, I can relate to that. least uh selena makes us emotional i mean i feel like fans it's like we see a clip or we hear music and we have to almost hold ourselves from tears you know there's that very intense sentiment like i've said before what about her spirit music legacy do you think transcends time and just makes us feel so connected to her it's that she was taken away from us too soon mm -hmm. you know one of the one of the biggest things for me she and i were born in the same year four months apart Wow. You know, and, and, the, and the longer that I worked on this project, the more I started thinking, you know, my God, you know, since that time, these are the things that I've accomplished. What could she have possibly accomplished? You know, and, and so, so the lesson that I take from that is that, you know, life is short and time, time is precious, you know, and, and you have to make the most of, of what you're given. And I think it's because we all feel so connected to her that she nearly feels like our family, right? She feels like our friend that we grew up with and we want to protect her. And she's one of the few, like 
Hispanic legends that we have, Mexican legends. And she's so giving. Who doesn't want to be around someone that just has that megawatt smile and that can perform and be just so giving? It's, it's going to be a legend that lives on forever. 